Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Monome Omachola and here yeah, I film about faith, relationship events and lifestyle. So if you're a new subscriber, I want to say thank you so much for coming around. And if you're a returning subscriber, Kai, I want to say thank you for always coming back. You've won my heart <laughs> and I'm serious about that. <laughs> so guys, today I'm going to be talking about something very, very interesting as a relationship coach and counselor that I have. So I'm going to be addressing four reasons why a lady will say no to your relationship proposal when she's obviously proven that she's in love with you. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be back. Okay, guys, so the first reason I'm going to be talking about today is the fact that she's not ready. So the fact that a lady has, you know, probably proven to you or shown to you that she's in love with you or she feels something for you does not necessarily mean that she's ready for a relationship. Yeah. So age and maturity are not the same thing. The fact that she's old enough for a relationship as well does not mean that she's re ready for a relationship. Everyone knows when they are ready for a relationship and when they are not. And this might be determined by different factors. It might actually be the fact that she didn't have it so well with her past experiences or past relationship. So probably she is suffering from heartbreak from different men and she needs, you know, a lot of time to be able to figure out if she really wants to give this relationship of a thing a try over again. Do you understand? So the fact that she's old enough or she's proven to you or she's shown you that she feels something for you does not mean she's, you know, mature enough for a relationship or she's ready for a relationship. So maturity requires you being intentional. You have the capacity, you have the social capacity, you have the emotional capacity to accommodate another person, right? So if she's not ready and she's not matured enough, you know, um, uh, it actually might be her reason for not saying yes to your relationship proposal, even though she might have, you know, shown you or she might have signaled to you that she feels something for you. So the second point I'm going to be talking about is the fact that she's not certain about the fact that she wants to spend the rest of her life with you. Yeah, that is a probability as well. So she's not certain about the fact that she wants to spend the rest of, it, of her life with you. And that might actually be as a result of different factors as well, which include, you know, probably God has not yet confirmed to her that you are the one. Yeah, so she might need a time to hear from God to be sure that you are the one. Yeah, so that might actually lead to her not being certain that she wants to spend the rest of her life with you. Another point is that she might actually be trying to figure out how she truly feels about you. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, for some people, they might actually feel something for you because you were there for them when they needed you or you, you've been friends for years. So she might actually need that time to figure out if she truly wants to spend the rest of her life with you as a life partner or she just feels something for you as a friend or as a best friend. So there are two different things. So she might actually need time sincerely to figure out how, how she truly feels about you. So it might just be a feeling of a best friend or someone she really care about, but not someone she's willing to spend the rest of her life together with right another factor that might actually contribute to that is the fact that um probably you guys are not compatible when it comes to some major life issues and that includes probably the way you think the way you reason your spiritual perception of some things you know uh your emotional uh, uh your intellectual capacity together now as couples and you know as an individual you that might actually be you might actually have different perspectives to life and those things might really matter to her or especially different perspectives perspectives to important life issues probably socially the way you think the way you reason you know some um probably the way you see a woman or probably your standpoint when it comes to partnership and intimacy when it comes to relationship or you might be a believer but probably let me give a more practical example probably she she believes in sexual purity but you do not believe in sexual purity because of where you're coming from and your past experiences with ladies or past relationship yeah so these are major issues that even as friends you've been talking about and she's come to realize your standpoint about them so if these things are in place or if you guys do not agree on basic major life issues she might not say yes to you because of that and the fourth thing is she's probably afraid 
yeah she's probably afraid and this might actually be because of her past experiences like i said or she might actually be afraid that uh, she does not like some things about you and she's scared you might not change along the line and as a matter of fact i used to say that no one's capable of changing anybody right so you can't be so sure that a guy is going to change when you start out in a relationship with him so if you're really willing to spend the rest of your life with him and you're not ready to second guess um, your chances with him you might want to be sure that he has already changed before you start out with him except god has given you a sure word that okay don't worry you know things are going to fall in place as time goes on if that is not the case you know she might probably be saying no to your relationship proposal even though she's in love uh, even though she has proven to be in love with you so the third point i'm going to be talking about is the fact that she's in love with someone else yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah this might not really sound so well with you but that might actually be the truth yeah so you know we know where our heart lies so the fact that she feels something for you does not mean she feels that for you alone so she might actually be in love with someone else and you know the funniest thing is that the other party might not actually be reciprocating uh the love back to her but that does not stop the fact that she feels something for the other party that is stronger than what she feels for you right so a lot of ladies have crushes on a lot of guys that does not even know how they feel for them and because of that they just find it difficult to move on with their life that might actually be the case with her too she might actually be in love with someone else right so and like i said earlier she might want to figure out how she truly feels about you if she's if you are the one or she's probably still waiting for the other person to come along or the other person to love her back so that she can start dating the other person right so that might actually be the case that she's in love with someone else the fourth reason i'll be sharing with you today is the fact that she might actually have something she's hiding from you or she might actually have something she's not so proud of and you know she loves you so much that she does not want to start that relationship on the basis of lie and that might actually be related to some health issues and you know probably she had some diseases or uh, it might actually be genotype issues as well and you know it might actually be the fact that probably they, they've told her something it might it might be as bad as you know probably doctor told her that she can't give birth to a child anymore because of where she's coming from it might actually be anything right what i'm trying to say is that it might actually be the father she has something she has not told you yet and she's not willing to share that secret with you yet and she's not willing to actually start that relationship as well with you on the basis of lie so that might actually be another reason why she's not saying yes to your relationship proposal and this final one is like a jar i'll be sharing with you and it is the fact that she might want to do shakara mm -hmm. <laughs> every lady can be like that it is normal right so she might want to do shakara she might actually just want to test how 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 willing you are to wait for her how how much you're willing to be patient to have her and how much you're willing to go just so just so that she can be yours so that might actually be the case actually so but one thing i would like to say here is that there should be a balance please don't go overboard with it there's no point you taking six months a year before you say yes to a guy when you're sure that he's the one you want to spend the rest of your life with don't go overboard with it six months is actually too long yeah the guy might actually fall in love with another lady along that process and you know it will be your loss so don't go overboard with it and from the guy's end i would like to say that if you have finally decided to start another relationship with another person because the lady does not seem to be giving you a positive response anytime soon i will employ you to tell her inform her that you know i've seen another person i'm in love with and i'll be starting out a relationship with her that way there won't be any form of uh you know i i thought you loved me but you didn't love me or she will get to know from another person and it will feel like you're hiding something from her so it's only reasonable and it is wisdom for you to tell her that okay babe i know you know i felt something for you but it, it looks like you're not ready and i'm ready for a relationship so i you know i already fall in love with someone else and I, i'm trying to start this relationship of the thing with her so i feel that will be so responsible of you and it won't cause any um hatred you know from her to you right so those are the points i will be discussing today about why a lady might probably say no to you uh to your relationship proposal when she's obviously proven to be in love with you yeah and i believe you found that helpful so i was in this video guys i believe you found it so helpful if you did can you please give it a thumbs up kindly share with your friends drop your comments at the comment section for me which of the points stood out for you the most just share with me at the comment section what you really feel about this video generally so um 
yeah so thank you so much guys for staying to the end i really celebrate and i appreciate you kindly subscribe to my youtube channel if you are yet to please <laughs> and do well to turn on your notification bell as well to get notified anytime i post my juicy videos <laughs> so see you guys at the next video take care bye